Travel and Tyler style. Today I'm at the Paris Air Show in Paris, France. This is the F-35 Lightning made by Lockheed Martin. The French have never been contenders for the F-35 program and they probably never will be. So really this is just an opportunity for the US to show off. Basically we're flexing. <laughs> There's a lot of conflict going on right now in Eastern Europe and we're trying to show strength. At least that's what it appears like. The F-35 has such amazing control. I mean, it can hover in the air. It can almost come to a complete stop. And then, boom, it's off. And it's so fast. It can go 1,200 miles per hour and it can get there in 16 seconds. My Ford Fusion Hybrid can't get to 60 miles per hour in 16 seconds. <laughs> this is the 54th edition of the Paris Air Show. It's every other year and it goes all the way back to 1909. The first flight was in the early 1900s, so essentially the Paris Air Show goes all the way back to the beginning. That's crazy. I've never been good at identifying fighter jets when they're on the flying displays. It's just not a strength of mine. It's kind of pathetic, I should be better at that. But I can always tell if it's an F-35. There's just something about it. Looks different, moves differently. It's faster. It can roll. Just an incredible fighter jet, it really is. Look at that. Now it's coming around for the landing. There's actually an exhibition going on. I'm going to take you around the venue. I'm going to show you it. A lot of people don't know that. Come along with me. We're going to take a ride around the Paris Air Show venue. It's really spread out. Paris Air Show is one of the biggest air shows in the world. Consists of halls and chalet rows and static displays. There's over 2,500 exhibitors at the show from all over the world. The halls where the booths are, static displays where the planes are, and the chalet row is where exhibitors basically have meeting rooms that they can invite in VIP clients for really nice lunches and meetings. We'll take a look at all of it. We're heading down Chalet Row. This is where all the big dogs are. If you're a player in the aerospace and defense industry, you're at this show. And typically you have a chalet as well. I like the chalets because every once in a while, I'll get invited in for lunch as well. And it's always great. On the right here is the static display. That's where the planes are. There's around 140 planes at the show between the static display and the flying display. Some of the chalets are really nice. You could live in them if you wanted. That's Boeing's exhibit. Raytheon's exhibit, call them a pavilion, Airbus. More of the chalet row, spirit. But now we're working away on a static. It's pretty cool out here. Boeing has several planes, Gulfstream has several planes, Airbus has a bunch of planes, I'm sure. I like it because there's pretty much every type of aircraft you could want to look at. Fighter jets, Boeing has their 737, and they got helicopters too. Pretty much everything. 
got to be careful, though. If you're not paying attention on the buggy, you could run someone over. Seems like every day I have a close call. All I do is go to aerospace and defense shows all over the world. I can't think of a major air show that I haven't been to. That's a lot of work, though. Long days. But the Paris Air Show is kind of the granddaddy of them all. In the odd years, you have the Paris Air Show in the summer. In the even years, you have the Farnborough Air Show. This is the Bell V280. It's pretty cool. Over here, we have some of the helicopters on display. Different fighter jets. Now we're in Hall 3 at the U.S. Pavilion. The U.S. delegation is the largest at the show. All the key players are here. General Atomics, Lockheed Martin, Teledyne Flair, etc. We're trying to show the world everything that we have. We're trying to make a statement against Russia. And we're definitely coming out strong. Calmer Worldwide organizes it. This is their lounge area. It's a meeting point. We're just going to take a quick look around. Paris Air Show is probably the largest one in the world. In the aerospace industry, at least. This is what it's all about. Paris Air Show 2023, Traveling Tyler Style, I'm out.